right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more 2K content daily. And one time, give it up for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Guess what day it is? Pump! Day, woo woo. Hey, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. We ready for this pump day, man. Hey, if you ready for pump day, give me a pump day down in the comment section, man. But look though, got a lot to talk about. A little bit of time to talk about it in, man. So we just going to get right into it. Y'all let me know which way of doing these videos y'all prefer. Do y'all prefer when I just throw up the uh, information right here during the game? Or do y'all prefer when I'm sitting here in the studio and then we go to number nine like that. I mean, even though I still got the full court press stuff up there. But anyway, hey, speaking of full court press, if you have not watched the podcast with me and Brutal Sim on the Sea, Wicked That Mean, with a next video for y'all. If y'all haven't watched that, make sure y'all go watch that, man. This podcast was very informative. Uh, like the video, share the video. You never know who is going to help out. Brutal Sim. One love, respect, bless up. Hey, in 10 more years, I'm gonna have the same dress as Brute got. Boy, we gonna be red. I'm gonna be 50 with dress, though. That don't even sound right. Look, I was bald all throughout my 20s. Cause I used to just 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 straight bick it. Just, eh, eh, eh. And then I got a luscious head of hair at, in uh, you know, at 40 or whatever. But I still dunk on your favorite grandma, so it don't even worry. Except for uh, uh dunk on your favorite grandmama, except for Larry Johnson, and that's it. Anyway, man, look, check it out. So let me know if y'all if y'all prefer me doing it like this or not. But anyway, your boy, you, this is not a mistake. Your boy Mike Wong has been tweeting, and uh, you know it, it's a little bit little bit of something here. You know, one of his burner accounts, uh, TTG, uh, Choo Chucky. I guess that's how you gonna say his name. He says, uh, "Can you please explain the lightning reflexes badge?" And uh, Mike says it just affects how early you see the arrow under the under the hall under the ball handler when he moves. And then so somebody says so basically useless. Look, man, let me tell y'all something, man. Lightning reflexes badge does more than that. One thing that I found that the lightning reflexes badge allows you to do is it just allows you to move more quickly, and it also registers your input a little bit faster. So let's say. If I press the square button, or if I press the X button in order to reach, it happens when I, like if you, the higher you have it up, the closer it happens to real time. So if you hit that button, it happens almost when you do it. You get a lot more steals when you put on lightning reflexes, and uh, you stick to players better when you put on lightning reflexes, because it takes your input in real time. You're not trying to anticipate what somebody's doing. Like it's actually happening when you have it happen. A lot of times I put it on silver or gold. If I have enough badges, I put it on silver or gold. But uh, like somebody like Brute that got that has uh, Legend, and, you know, I put it on Hall of Fame with him just because of the fact that I got extra badges. And uh, you know, you you see something. You 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 actually do see a big difference when you're playing with lightning reflexes as opposed to when you're not playing with lightning reflexes. For me though, that's all I've really noticed. Like it's not like I stick to the person or anything like that better it's just that my movements are registered more quickly so you get the the effect of it but um you know and they'll say they'll probably say that's not what it is but that's what it always has felt like uh for me so that's that also mike wong comes back and says uh dude says uh how you been mike says uh in heavy 2k21 development doing good though thanks for asking and then somebody says are you taking feedback into consideration while making 2K21? And then, of course, he says, always. That's what that's a politically correct answer. And then he says, uh, post hooks and hop, and hop steps are broken. We want old hot spots and dribbling. Uh, and dribbling is too. What? Uh, okay. Uh, dull. I mean, dribbling is just too dull. That's some things to look at. All right, let's see if he's taking that into consideration. He probably didn't even respond. Yeah, dribbling makes the game uh, pretty boring. It's so stiff and automatic. Now, I'm not going to lie with you, right? I'm not going to lie to you. I do see some people's beef with the dribbling. Not even going to cap. No, no capital. I definitely see some people's beef with the dribbling. It does appear to be dull, a little bit robotic, 
a little bit repetitive and all of this stuff. But at the same time, man, it's dribbling. Like, you got to say, like, I don't know. There's always a fine line when you make a game like this between how realistic can you make the dribbling versus how fun it's going to be. It's just like the same thing when you go into the rim and stuff like that. How realistic can we make the gameplay but still make it be the highlight and fun gameplay that we want it to be? And so that segue brings us right into what I wanted to talk about with this. Boom! EA Sports, I mean EA's video game NFL exclusivity for Madden is over. Well, sort of. 2K Games and the NFL have announced the NFL 2K, I mean the NFL 2K is coming back in in 2021 with multiple football game experiences. But the thing is, non-simulation. And you know what that means? Non-simulation means it's going to be pretty much like NFL Street, um, NBA, NBA, uh, not NBA Live. It's going to be something like NFL Street, NBA Jam, or pretty much like 2K is. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much we're going to make a, uh, we're going to make a, 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 the 2K equivalent of uh, a football because this ain't simulation basketball. I'm going to tell you that right now. So I think that they're pretty safe. They just make a regular game. And, and put it in the form of 2K, and they'll be good. Because this damn show ain't simulation basketball. Or, or let's see, I don't know what they call simulation basketball or anything like that. But you you, you understand what I'm saying. Um, It's got to be a non-simulation game. Uh, they have a couple of years, and then they'll be able to go after, you know, they're probably going to try to be beat Madden out for the exclusivity deal as far as, for the exclusivity deal as far as uh, the simulation game goes. I don't want to see that. And you don't either. And let me tell you why. It's never good for somebody to have a monopoly. Do you see the state of Madden right now? The reason that we're complaining about Madden is because, what, in 2004, 2005, they bought that, they bought the license out and they got an exclusivity deal with the NFL. And when they got that exclusivity deal with the NFL, they were the only kid on the block. And so they could put out garbage after garbage after garbage. And the same thing is happening with 2K. They've got a monopoly, but it's not a monopoly because they created it. It's a monopoly because of lack of competition. Now, that's not illegal, but, you know, you would probably say, well, you know, 2K, how can they buy it now when they when they weren't able to buy it then? Well, 2K got a whole lot more money now than they had back in 2005, I'm going to tell you that. In, in 2000, they were a burgeoning company. You know, they're just coming out. The, 2K, uh, NBA 2K Live, uh, NBA 2K Basketball, I mean, NBA 2K. I'm, I'm saying NBA 2K basketball. <laughs> NBA 2K was not what it was. It was not the juggernaut that it is right now. It was not the cash cow that it is right now. So whereas they could not afford to get that exclusivity deal with the NFL back then, I'm sure that Take Two's pockets, especially when you got stuff like Grand Theft Auto and all of that stuff, um, you know, uh, uh, fueling it, I, their pockets are deep enough now. Trust me. Them pockets are deep enough to, to, to be able to go after the exclusivity deal. But it's something that you don't want to see. You want to see two games that are simulation football and two games that are simulation basketball. You want to see two, at least two, because as my dog uh, Hard Eight says, competition is good. I say competition is good. You have, if you don't have competition, you end up with what we have. Like I said, you end up with what we have in 2K, NBA 2K, and in Madden right now. That's why we're calling for so much. That's why we say we need NBA Live to be good. That's why we want NBA, I mean, that's why we want 2K football. You want 2K football because you need something to push Madden and make them innovate, make them do different things, make them be better than what they were yesterday. And then you want Live to be good because you want the same effect for 2K. You don't want you, you just don't want people to get stagnant, man. And when they when they don't have competition, they can rest on their laurels, and the consumer ultimately pays the price. When there's no competition, the consumer pays the price. When we don't complain, the consumer pays the price. When we don't when we don't tell these companies what we really want, and and that we're not happy with the product that they put out, they already have the money. So complaining is the only thing that we can do.
the consumer pays the price. Fortunately, they have this thing called micro microtransactions now, and we can use those to our favor because when we stop playing a game in the middle of the year, we actually hurt the company. It used to be you stop playing the game in the middle of the year, it didn't hurt the company. They didn't care. But now, if you stop playing the game in the middle of the year, it hurts the company like like damn near, what, 40% of their bottom line, they said, was from uh, microtransactions, I believe. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. Oh, up next, and uh, final, last and final, hey, look, man, Agent is launching a team. It's Agent Duke Dennis, I'm Davis, Phantom, and um, Agent Duke Dennis, I'm Davis and Phantom. Yeah, there it is. They had a little, they had a, a trailer video. Trays up, Green Bean Money Team splash down. They got a trailer video, man. And uh, you know, from the looks of the trailer, the channel gonna be kind of lit. Not gonna lie to you, man. It's like I guess it's gonna be kind of, kind of like the two hype deal or whatever. Like that. Look at Duke lay all oh, the round off, the backflip, and then two more of them things. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. But every dude from the hood, everybody knew somebody from the hood that could do that thing. Look at that. We got the, the, the needless showing of cars. They in the gym. They running. You got Phantom. You got Phantom. You got all of this stuff, man. So, you know, hey, they out there making videos. They're making moves, man. They're making their own joint. Um, I guess it's supposed to be like their answer to too hype or what have you. But, uh, you know, it looks like that's the way to go, man, right now. It looks like having your own group, doing your own thing like that, putting the group together and not. But even though that's always been the way, even since the beginning of uh, YouTube, when you, you had like guys like Woody's Game Attack and all those guys, they were all together and they had an unofficial group and then they made a podcast. And then like that podcast channel is still fueling Woody Game Woody Gamer's Tag channel right now to this day. To this day, it's fueling this channel. Woody can do anything on this channel. He gonna get views, man. You know, and uh, you know, Wings of Redemption, Woody's Game Attack, Kyle, um, you know, X Cal, all them guys, man. Like, not not X Cal, but uh, Sam or or uh, uh, X Jaws. All those guys was was um was you know they got together. Like groups have never been a big secret on that's how you can push everybody's channel to the next level and all that good stuff. But hey, good on them, man. They doing it and they're doing it themselves. You see how Cash and those guys did with Two Hype, that channel, those channels are thriving. Uh, Amp is what they're gonna be calling it. Uh, it look, looks like it's gonna be called Amp. And uh, it's like apply always, I mean, apply more pressure or as they say, always, uh, what, uh, any means possible. You know, a few things like that is an acronym for that. But, hey, it's going to be dope. So, hey, let's see how it goes, man. Let me know if y'all going to uh, go over there and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, let me know what y'all think about it as a whole. Hey, when we get when we get big enough, maybe me and Bruder do something like that. But we old as hell, so nobody don't watch our videos. So we probably won't ever get up there. But, hey, if we do, hey, we're going to make the old head club. <laughs> or the early bird club or so I don't know, man. Hey, I just be so happy to be up there that I do anything, though. It is what it is. Anyway, I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if y'all liked it down in the comments. Um, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that which one did you prefer, Madden or 2K Football? Are you happy that 2K Football is back? What do you think about lightning reflexes? Do you use it or don't you use it? And uh, you know, uh, is amp gonna be dope? Do you watch Agents Podcast on the uh the peer-to-peer -peer podcast and all that stuff, man? Let me know down in the comment section. And go back and watch full court press. Damn it, I got the screen all messed up. Look at this, I got the screen all messed up, man. Uh, boom, boom. And there's gotta be one more. What, what is what is this background? What is this? What is this? Uh, here we go. Boom. <gasps> okay, so that didn't do the way I thought it would. Let's just put it back up there. Go back and watch Full Court Press, man. And, uh, you know, me and Brute, we was killing it on that and all that good stuff. But I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. Get this off of off my head. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. <laughs> it's from the barbershop, BK the people tell Godspeed. Also, make sure y'all subscribe to me on Twitch, man. Go over to Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. I'm not going to be streaming on YouTube anymore. We're going to try to grow Twitch back up. And let me show you why, man. We try to get, and, um, you know, we're going to be playing some of this cock, this, this cock of duty uh, war zone right here. We're going to be playing this today, man. So come on through, holler at your boy. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. Godspeed.